Welcome on Makosi Network, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be chatting about the starting lineup that we're going to see for KZGs vs Magesi. And we're going to chat about what who's going to be able to play and what changes Nabi has to make. And what Nabi has to basically fix in the team. But before we get into that, please like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, Baba, subscribe. We want 5.8, Baba, 5.8 subscribers. Thank you, Siabong. Thank you, Siabong. Thank you so much. Rale Boha. Zonke Bonke. But anyway, let's get into the game. Guys, starting lineup against my Casey. This for me is a must win win. It's a game we have to, have to, have to win. Why do I say that? We should never have lost that super sport game. Even if we took a draw, sharp, but a loss was just pathetic. Especially because Super Sport has so many players that it has injured. Divine Lung, um, not Lung, uh, that guy um, who came as a substitute, he just came from injury. Ta Tashrik Morris, who scored against us, hasn't even been for at Super Sport for one month. But he's already scoring goals more than Ranga Chivavir. Why? Why? And then um bradley Robler injured grant magaman injured you see what i'm talking about super sport had was not meant to beat us with that squad but let's talk about our starting lineup left back ash baba cross even got a call up for bafana bafana so angas man angas especially because you can see nabi doesn't really trust him that much if if it to a point where he will make frostler play left back i don't know but you know what probably cross will start because there is a, it's either a cross or Bongani Sam, but Nabi also doesn't look like he rates Bongani Sam. So for now, let me say cross because I don't know. Uh, left left center back totally definitely is gonna play. Right center back is gonna be given him Simango because Miguel got a yellow card. He's suspended for this game, but he's available for Sundowns. Right back Frostler, center mid Matt is going to be there. Yusuf Matt and his uh, ancestors are so amazing that they have guaranteed us that Umat will be there. Angas Ganjan, but it will happen. But yeah, Matt will probably be there. And I'm guessing he may even be partnered up by Blom. Why do I say Blom instead of Samkelo Zwane? Because Samkelo Zwane did a lot of things that are worth forgetting. His casualness came back in the previous game. Samkelo Zwane just became the Samkelo Zwane that we've always been seeing in Jay. Who looks too casual, who's not taking things serious. But Nabi believes in him. So if Nabi is going to take a risk, I would like him to take a risk of playing Samkelo Zwane and Njabulo Plom. I want to see how Njabulo Plom will flunk, function with um with the Zwane because that's the only combination we haven't seen so far because um Castillo is out guys Castillo is out for four to five months and there's an interesting thing about Castillo but we'll chat about that at the end but then left center um, left wing um Serino we need a win so I think we need to start Serino even if it's just for the first 45 minutes but at the same time do I think Navi will play Serino knowing that he's going to be playing Sundowns a part of me thinks no. A part of me does not think that Nabi should play Serino. So I'm thinking that this may be one of those days where the person who starts on the left is actually going to be Umfundo Villagas. I feel Umfundo Villagas will be our left um, left wing. Like we saw in the Super Sport game towards the end, Umfundo um, um, Villagas played the Serino role and he actually did well. So I think actually that will be the surprise. Mfundo Villagazi will play for Serino because Serino is not 100%, but you want him to be there for Sundowns. Then Mdru Shabalala, then Wandile Duba. The Wandile Duba one is a difficult one because Wandile Duba, at this point, we have to start questioning Nabi. Um, and when I say start questioning Nabi, not to say we are questioning him in a bad way. We're just saying Duba... Is doing all the right things, but he's also doing his his mistakes or making us not finish off teams. So when I say that, I'm like Duba is not putting the ball in the net. Um, Dushabalala has scored a goal. Sirino has scored a goal. 
Ranga Chivavero has scored some goals. Who has not scored? Duba. Duba is the only player who has not scored and you cannot say he hasn't had chances. The guy had tap-ins, he has one-on-ones, he's just not scored. So, I don't know what Nabi will do. Is this one of the games, especially against Makesi, where we want to see a Pule Modi starting? Um, is that the kind of game we're going to see? Are we going to see the uh, return of uh, Potani in this game? I don't know. Will it be an interesting combination where maybe Nabi starts um, Dushabalala on the right and then starts Matro as the number 10 or start Unkosing Pile Ngobo as the 10? I don't know. But um, Nabi has some figuring out against Makesi and then probably start Ranga Chibavero. What would I prefer? What would I prefer my starting lineup to be? This is my preferred starting lineup if I were to choose left back. I would have um, Riff Rosler. I know a lot of you were going to question me about that, but left back, I'll have Riff Rosler. I would have um, Dodley, I'd have Msimango, and I'd give Dylan Solomon a chance um, at the right back. That's me. You guys know how I feel about Dylan Solomon. I would prefer him to be there. So I'll try that. Then center, I'll try Blom and Zwane. Then left, Mfundo Villagazi. Center, I'll try Matom. On Kosim Pile Ngobo, and then right, I would uh, try Um Tushawala on the right, just just because our right isn't is the most leaky part. So um, I know it's not Um Tushawala's favorite position to start on the right, but I'd use him. I'll try to use him and get him and Um Fundo to ex to change positions. You know, be creative, and I'd like to actually see Duba start as a striker, as as crazy as that may sound, but. I believe in Nabi's choices to stick with the team that he's already selected because that is the winning formula. If you ask us fans, we're going to put our own team and our team will lose 5 nil to Makesi. But if you ask Nabi, Nabi will figure out how to beat Makesi. So I trust in Makesi in Nabi more than I trust in myself. But anyway, into the Castillo one, two important things I want to raise about the Castillo one. Castillo is out for four to five months. Christian Saile is out. These are two foreign players. Two foreign players are out and they're not coming back anytime soon from what we, it seems. So this is my question. If Castillo is going to be out for four to five months, is it not a smart idea to deregister Castillo? Deregister him, remove him from the list of players. And then what do you do? You register uh, you try find a, a foreign player who is going to make up that position because I feel like Castillo's season is all but over. Um, hey guys, five, five, four to five months is a long time. If he comes back, he's gonna come back for the final games, maybe the last 10 games. But by that time, the league will have been decided, and now you'll still have to be adjusting to what he's going to do. Hey, so for me, I would actually close the, the Castillo door and try to sign another foreign player. And then for Christian Saile, I feel like Nabi is not willing to invest time in Christian Saile. So I'd actually go and actually sell Saile or loan Saile when he finally gets back and then get another player. Maybe maybe loan uh, Christian Saile to Cape Town Spurs. Né? They must bring Veli by, loan him to Cape Town Spurs. Maybe you will help them there in the NFT. But yeah. That's what I wanted to say. A lot of you, I saw Bros's um, uh, uh, 38 prelim squad and Yanela Mbutuma is there. So Bros is, uh, Hugo Bros is seeing something that I am seeing in the boy. So at least it's not something that I was lying about. But anyway, that is the, the team that we are seeing. That is the update on oh, Castillo, uh, Castillo. There's a lot that's going on in our team. I just pray that we win this Magesi game. This Magesi game is actually a very important game and we have to win it. And Nabi has to fix our attack. And our defense hasn't been the biggest problem for me specifically. Our defense hasn't been the biggest problem. But the thing that has been killing KZ Chiefs is two things, two areas. The biggest area, it's actually more than two areas, but some of the areas are difficult to solve, like Abu Cross at left back. Like, He's a patch player. We didn't buy him because we believe he's number one. We bought him because we couldn't get the players we wanted. Bazardin, Anderson from Angola, uh, Hannah Moob we couldn't get. And then um, 
Edmilson Dove is injured. So you see, so he's a patch player. So I don't want to talk about that, but the most important one is defensive midfielder. We haven't fixed it. We know Chiefs is still trying to get Faisal Saloum. Apparently, that's what we're hearing. That is the biggest one I feel that needs fixing. If we can fix our DM position and put two generals there, generals, two generals there, Shia Zonk is in. And another one is the strike. Ranga Chivavero is one of those strikers where he wants to get five chances to score one. We saw against Supersport. Sometimes you're only going to get that one chance. Sometimes you're only going to get two chances. And when you do get that one or two chances, at least make the keeper look like he's, he's doing something. Mfundo Villagazi got in the game, sharp at the keeper, almost scored. Ranga Chivavero, he hit a shot, it was a pass back to the keeper. So that's why I'm saying. We will not survive as a team if we don't get a quality striker. That is one thing that has to be on top, top of Nabi and Dem's uh, picture. Terra, you, Terra, I have a trust in you. You are the same guys who identified about Tashrik Matthews. You guys also about Vini before they got to Real Madrid. So please find us a special talent. Find that special striker for us because we really, really cannot. Like when we if we have Ranga Chivavero, I can see us just fighting for top six. If we have a Ranga Chivavero only, I can see us fighting for just top six. But if we have a top quality striker, then we're fighting for top three. We're not gonna get top two because those guys are already gone. But top the number three and four are positions that are very, very possible. But we need to fix that striking position. I'm a possible life. I'm not